Kinder's has a chili crunch oil. Stop playing with me. Cause I, I appreciate the ones that's engrossed in it with positivity, but the some of y'all just gotta say something about something and it gotta be something and it gotta be negative cause you're miserable. I'm not finna be hanging around with nobody I don't trust. This is so pretty, like the color, oh. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I was talking about y'all won't believe what Dana did. <laughs> so Dana, speak for yourself what you did. I was like, I just made a friend. Look like a bag of ice. I'm driving in your big tank. I'm like, I love my life. That's your favorite song. I love this song. What, what? Hey, tell her. What's your name? Mia. It's cold. I'm sorry I was busy, but I missed you. If you see me ballin' in my bitch ball, my niggas ballin' like I'm rich ball. Spit up in that body, I'm a lift ball. All your bitches look for lotties when you rich dog. So if she can't pop a squat, then that's a trip ball. Keep a CDG, all niggas with the dog. Your nigga been, I think that he the only one. That nigga messin' shit and with some joke one. If it ain't itchy, then it's me. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all today been hell. <laughs> Danny downstairs waiting on me. I hate rushing and running late. I had to do my hair over three times today. I sat in the dryer three times today to get it right. Cause y'all literally seen me today. Last time y'all seen me, I had on my Ghostbuster tea in the last vlog. I went to the gym, messed my hair up. I tried to set it and it didn't come out right. So then I had to set it again and it didn't come out right. So the last time, the third time was the charm. Thank God, cause we gotta go. Then I tried to upload the vlog that y'all literally just seen with the Ghostbusters shirt on because I Friday vlog and it got copyrighted. And so I'm waiting for it to go through again and it should be fine, but I have to go. Ooh, I do not like that. So I'm like, do I not get the no, the, the vlog has to go up. I did all this to get a Friday vlog and now it's playing with me. Anyway, let me show y'all. Oh my God, I don't have my purse. <laughs> okay, so outfit of the day, I have on my dog on diamond uh, tennis bracelet, whatever you want to call it, is acting so stink. I don't know why it won't. It's like it's moving around or shifting, and like I don't like that. But I guess it's a necklace, is what it's gonna do. But my one, one, one don't do this. He is moving too much, and then it's moving in the way of that. And I think it's maybe because they're too close to the same length. Anyway, naked wardrobe on the bodysuit. Fit jeans on the jeans. This is my Marc Jacob metallic bag. And then I haven't even worn these boots. I don't. I think I wore them one time this year. And they're like two years old. But I got them from Auto. She's cute. We just going to get like hookah and drinks. Turn up. I need my vlog to go up. Like I don't want to leave it like this. But also Dana's waiting. <laughs> hey, I had to complain. <laughs> We got the Chelsea house and I said, Chelsea, it's kind of cold. Let me put my top up. Then she got her hair. It's girl, it's okay. That now it's a problem. My lips closed. It's up. You want me to pull over? Yeah. Oh, you can't do it while you driving. No. I'm sorry. That, that's why I was like, when girl. I was at your house, I said, let me, y'all, I want to get a point five. Then we can Why you ain't do the point five? Because she said that week was good and I was just going to do it when we got to the restaurant. Okay. But if I need to pull over, I mean, we ain't. Let's try. <laughs> look, it ain't my fault. I was a good hostess and I asked. I that. said, look, you sure? And I said, are you sure? You look at the that. hair flopping. It's all over the place. <laughs> and I knew that because when I wore a wig, I remember going to a Jeep event with a wig and that shit was all over the place because I had my top down. Mm. Your hair only okay because you got it bunned up. Oh, yeah. flying all over the place. I hope our video get to go up. Shit. Oh, so yeah, the vlog that's about to go up right if and now. I was talking about y'all won't believe what Dana did. So Dana, speak for yourself what you did. I was like, I just made a friend. I literally just started hanging out with you like August. August. Mm -hmm. Couldn't even do it yet. Okay. I'm just trifling. <laughs> just trifling, huh? Why would you do this? I'm leaving y'all. Yeah. In two weeks, like. 
I mean, that is so trash. We got, and we said we was making all these plans. We could you don't remember Pasha? We could still Cause I was Pasha. like, Chelsea, have you been to Pasha? Yeah. I love Pasha's lamb chops, and I like hookah. This hold on smoke hookah. <laughs> so I was like, well, if I go, we got to invite Chelsea, because I ain't finna smoke no hookah by myself. Yeah, you ain't it's smoke. Yeah, we to Friday. Thank you. So it's cheaper. So we could go. Yeah. Let's be going away. Please, yeah. Thank you. Because that's go. another, we was out Wednesday and the place had hookah. And I was like, well, I don't want to get no hookah. You don't smoke. I said, that's fine because I'm going out with Chelsea. I'll just wait. I'm not smoking a hookah by yourself at the table looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> then my mama would have been like, you was the only one smoking it. Yep. She would have asked Well, obviously. But yeah. Everybody grown now. Right. For the most part. We ain't going to. What I do to deserve. You deserve better. Then I told my mama, I said, Mama, as soon as I make a friend, she was like, Well, you got Chelsea. I was like, Well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Damn. All you need in this life is I like at least two or three. And then, oh, especially because Chelsea got a man. So, I mean, she can't just always, Oh, you want to do this? I mean, look you, like I be in the streets. It's that like, 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 I, like I be going right. somewhere. And you got all apartments right here. These? Oh. Mm -hmm. No, right here. Well, the they, white ones. No, these right here. Right here. They just built all of those. But I, I ain't never seen right these a out. day in my life. What are they called? You had a really nice um balcony, yes. Like, so it was like this. Yeah, I had a balcony oh. like that. Oh, that's real. Oh, nice. and see. Whoa, hold on. What is these? Right. Oh, for look, six hundred. Yeah, they're selling those. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the rooftops. Where are hundred? we? I ain't never seen that. That's what I was trying to figure out. Been down this way. No. Oh, I do know where we are. You're going to hop on the express where you can get to like Cumberland Mall. Mm -hmm. and it's telling me to go to Cumberland uh, yeah. Parkway. I used to go to a nail salon. Right. This is where I get my waxes at. I ain't never been over here. Is this a uh, sugar something? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to look yeah, and see the stuff because I've never been I've over been here. I've been to this I remember the tits. I think there's a clean over, over here. here. When did all yeah. this stuff get yep, over here? I've been here. to the clean Greatest stuff been here for years. It really has. I've you never late. been I've over been here. here. Good afternoon, y'all. <laughs> y'all, tell me why I got home last night. I should have vlogged because I took a shower and all the things. I was listening to a vlog of mine. This is totally unrelated, but y'all already know me jumping around. I was listening to a vlog of before I turned 30 and I cut my hair. It was literally the vlog before my 30th birthday vlog and I cut my hair. And my voice. I vlog for y'all because I feel like I am, I need to show up for y'all. Like I have to show up. I can't think of the word right now. I'm sorry, my head is a mess. I am, what is the word? Oh my God. Y'all know the word. Well, you just gotta do it. You're obligated. I'm so sorry. I'm an ass right now. Um, I just feel obligated to show up for y'all and not in a bad way. Like, I don't wanna do that. I've brought this up before. I don't, why does my voice sound like this? It is so crazy. Like, it sounds like I'm sick all the time. Even with me trying to talk, it sounds like I don't want to. And I kind of thought about giving up hookah, y'all, because, oh, this is not what I came here to talk about, I promise y'all. But somebody had also mentioned Aaliyah's voice. And I went back and noticed that she deleted, like, 
so many of her videos but whatever i found one that was like i think about three years ago a vlog because she has like old makeup videos but i was looking for like a real old vlog and she doesn't have any vlogs like without her not being in the house that she's in now which is neither here nor there but i was really just trying to go back far but her voice is different too and somebody had mentioned a long time ago about like hookah in the voice and all of that. But her voice don't sound nothing like my sound right now. Like I be I feel like sometimes I try to talk and then you know how like it cracks, it won't even come out. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. I just noticed as I was talking, like sometimes I feel like I try to spend a lot of energy to talk like I'm doing now. Like I feel like I'm trying to push because I don't like my voice is like gone or something. Anyway. Now I done got confused. Oh, <clears throat> I came home and I thought that I was going to go to sleep and do all my things. And I ended up being up to like three o'clock in the morning, y'all. I started, um, I read some of my Bible and I looked at the Bible project, the book of Amos. And then I was just scrolling and I was looking at old vlogs and new vlogs. And then I ended up looking at the show I'm looking at right now. I'm about to talk about, but I was up to 3 a.m. Like for no reason, I just wasn't sleepy. And that's so weird for me. So I, um, woke up today, at like 930 and y'all know I play my, um, my rain sound. So I got like. I got six hours of sleep and that ain't enough, but I'm not really sleepy, but as you can see, I'm in the bed and I got up today and I was like, I just want to like play my Sims. Like I want to chill. So I took your out. I played Sims. I listened to a sermon. I scrolled and then I got in the bed and now it's almost three o'clock y'all. And I have a list of things to do and not a list. Like it's a lot, but like little things to do, which sometimes I'd be happy for Cause I'd be like, Oh, I have stuff to vlog. Cause I have stuff to do, but today's not one of those days. So I'm looking at unlocked on Netflix. Two things about me. We was talking about like TV shows and movies or whatever. I love watching stuff about jail and I love watching stuff about drugs. I don't know why, but jail and drugs, you got me. Jail and drugs, if y'all know some stuff. And what's crazy is y'all probably gonna name everything I've already seen because I'm up on it, okay? Um, who remembers that doggone, was it on HBO? And now I can't think of the name of it. It was this show centered all around jail. It's not the damn wire. And I cannot think of the name of it and that's crazy because I love that show. Oh my God. I can't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I started thinking as I was laying in the bed and thinking about how, oh, I actually have stuff to do today. I don't want to do it. I'm just laying here. I'm having a good time. Yesterday when I was with Chelsea, I talked about this on the way home in the car. She was like, sometimes I just want to lay in the bed. I don't want to do nothing. I just want to scroll on my phone. And I was like, yeah, same. I tell y'all all the time, like, I really have no desire to do nothing. And then I started thinking about how vloggers, basically, and maybe not all vloggers. I don't know. So I be asking questions like this to see the general senses. But y'all also might just be my people. So y'all might, like, might agree. Um, but I was like, vloggers are just like everybody else in the world. Like, you might like your job. You might have a job that you like. You might be a doctor or a lawyer, have a really good job. You really love your job. You love your career. But sometimes, and it may be more than that, like, baby, I don't want to do nothing. I want to do nothing. It's no different because everybody just thinks, like, vlogging is like, and then I, this is loosely because not everybody, because some people really do, like, they'll watch vlogs and they'll be in the social media and they have no desire to ever have a career in social media. And I don't blame you. But anyway, just because we have this job that seems like it's easy to do and, you know, it's fun to do. We do like to do it. Like, of course, I like to do it, but I don't want to do it a lot. Just like everybody else don't want to go to work. And I start thinking about the Bible, how like, you know, we want to post to work. We was in the garden to eat and living our life. No clothes, no nothing, no bills, no nothing, no worries, no nothing. And then what happened? So I'm like, is that, and that's why I'm asking again, it might not be the best senses because y'all might be my people because if you're here, we obviously have like the same kind of likes and dislikes for the most part, whatever. But do most people have a desire to just not do anything but like, eh. And I thought that was always a me thing because there's these people that I see and again, it might just be for show because if I say I see is social media based. So that's probably 
if they are um, making content, a lot, a lot of people that make content do have regular jobs, but y'all, why do I feel like it takes so much energy for me to talk? This is crazy. A lot of people I feel like they make content may have regular jobs, but then I feel like a lot of people that I consume, this is what they do. Um, so what I see as them being productive may just be them doing that work they got to do. Remember, pushing through. But basically, I'm asking, do we all just kind of don't want to do nothing? Because I don't. And the things I have to do ain't even all that. I need to go run some errands, go to the struggle. But I just want to lay here and watch this show just like I was playing Sims. And I stopped and I watched the show and eat, maybe nap, watch the show. And I know that even though I say, well, I could stay in the bed forever. This do get boring after a while, cause like when I be on my cycle or I'm sick, I long to get back to work. So maybe I do just need a break, but not today, cause I need to vlog. <laughs> I said I wanted to do um, three vlogs a week, and I'm thinking that's not gonna work out, cause even though I did it last week, I was successful, y'all. I said I was gonna do something, and I pushed through. I post, I posted Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And it was so many hiccups in a row, especially the Friday vlog. Y'all almost didn't get it. I didn't think y'all was going to get it, but I made it. Then that Wednesday vlog, I almost didn't want to do it because I wasn't feeling it. It doesn't matter. I made it, and I did what I said I was going to do, and that feels good. But now, I'm kind of like, mm, I really would enjoy most if I vlogged, if I post Monday and Friday vlogs. Because you got all weekend, you post on Monday, and then you kind of got all week to post on Friday. And it just seems less stressful. But then I be worried that I'm not being productive enough. And then I have this other thing where like, oh, okay, but what about the fitness content that you said you was going to put on the other channel? And even if you didn't, you said you was going to do like a more kind of like niche focused vlog like you did the homebody vlog. I be trying to not burn out myself, but then I be burning out myself. And that's probably why today I'm just like, yo, I did push through last week and I got everything done. So that's why I'm like today, yeah, I don't want to do nothing. I do just want to lay here. And I'm trying to be like, well, it's okay. Maybe you should. Maybe you can. I'm thinking about it. But I'm like, some of these things I have on this list, like you really need to do it. Anyway, that was me just checking in. We'll see what happens because I am about to watch this. And it's already 3 o'clock. And I haven't eaten today. I had, I just had a couple of sweet potato chips. I was thinking about, cause I know y'all was saying like to fast and it might not have been y'all. That might've been my Instagram group. But I've been drinking water and I didn't really eat, but I did go to the bathroom today. But that's cause I'm on them cleanse pills, so I'm expecting to go. But I'm also kind of curious and a little bit anxious about this weight dropping. Cause y'all, I'm like seven pounds heavy for no reason. And ain't did shit and I'm like, okay, how many times I need to go to the bathroom to get that off? Because this, that don't make no sense. And that is bothering me and I'm anxious about it. Especially somebody that really ain't been, like, baby, you know I ain't with the Chick-fil-A and got the cherry berry uh, drink or nothing. I did go out to eat yesterday. I'll give you that. But besides that, I have not done nothing I wanted to do with my life. Hell, I could be ordering hibachi right now because I slipped on some fried rice. I made enchiladas and ate one of them, just one. And I'm probably about to eat one now. And I feel bad about it because of all the cheese and stuff. But I'm like, I can't throw them away. Granted, I think it's only two, maybe three left. It's not that many left. Some I had to get thrown out. And I should have never made them. It was a bad food choice. I should have just made the tacos. Because y'all know how I feel about wasting food. Yeah, I don't know what is going on. Me, the laziness that I felt, it started off as laziness. And now it's like actual tiredness. And when my body tells me I'm tired, even though I feel like I shouldn't be, like I didn't do nothing or whatever, I do like to um, honor the way it feels. But I went and got these packages from downstairs. I'm trying to see what I absolutely have to do. Cause like I had a list of things to do, ain't no list, ain't no list. Um, Dana told me that Target had Olipop on sale. I don't know, it's $1.99, so it's like a dollar off. Baby, because I know that if I go to one Target, they're going to be gone. All they're going to be ran through. And the goal, what I wanted to do, I don't even want to talk. I, just, I really just feel tired. This is crazy. What I wanted to do was to go to multiple Targets because what else I got to do? But, yeah, no. I might be able to go to the one right by my house, but I know that's going to be the very one that barely be having anything anyway. Then I have to go pick up this payment um, that my uncle sent to pay his credit card. So I have to do that. 
And yeah, that's it. That's crazy. Cause like I was supposed to go to Sam's, remember the egg whites, the eggs. Y'all, I really feel tired. Then when I was downstairs, then I'm sweaty like I'm hot. What the hell is going on? I went downstairs and the concierge lady was throwing up. Like, what is, I, I don't know. And then I feel really full, not from food, but I've been drinking a lot of water. Well, a lot for me. I actually want to get my little container and weigh it. Or like, I feel like when they make those containers, they should automatically put how many fluid ounces on there. Because I don't know if it's a 32 ounce or a 24 ounce. And I'm curious to know since I'm trying to hit a certain amount of water. Because y'all know I've been having like good issues. So this is the container I've been using. This is a Hydra Flow. I think I got this from Amazon. So I might be able to find it actually. Because it has no brand on it. No nothing. But this is a Hydra Flow. I probably got it from like Home Goods or something. But it says 30 ounces. And this it tells you. I think this is 32. Ooh. I was going to... um. I was gonna put this on my scale and like weigh it in fluid ounces and fill it all the way up. But since it doesn't have anything on it and I'm pretty sure I got it from Amazon, I'm actually just about to try to look. And when I say got it from Amazon, y'all, years ago. But what I'm gonna do is, oh my God, no, I don't have no package out for delivery still. When all the stuff was supposed to be here yesterday. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. But um, I know that I can go to my orders and like search. So I'm going to put, is this a tumbler? I'm just going to put water, search, and um, 26 orders forever or just for the year? Oh, see right here. So I bought it. Thank you, Jesus. Look at technology. I bought this from Amazon on January 27, 2022. So two years ago and still was able to pull it up. So I can see exactly what it is. Cause I should have known it was from Amazon when it don't got like nobody's marking nothing. It's a 40 ounce. So I've drunk in 40. Okay, that's good. See, that's what I wanted to know. That's exactly what I wanted to know. So I thought it was 32. But now if I drink two of these, I'm I'm golden. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm full of water, but whatever. Anyway, let me open this. Um, my energy is so low. I do not like vlogging when my energy is low. Yay, we don't have to be ghetto in the shower no more. I finally bought my um thing to hold my like shower nozzle. You know, I'm supposed to been do that. The thing that I'm waiting on, I'm just gonna tell y'all because it's not special. Remember, I was supposed to buy the little metal like hook things to hang up to hang up to put up the shelves in the uh the in the drawer the deck girl whatever <sighs> okay this was supposed to be exciting not this i got these um i got a flat iron y'all because y'all seen i went out yesterday and it was supposed to come yesterday morning it was supposed to be overnighted but whatever i got it yesterday night it's a green little flat iron because when I got my hair done, I ain't gonna lie, I did kind of like the little bumps a little bit. Even though I didn't have enough hair and he was burning the hell out of me. This is so pretty. Like the color. Oh. Oh my God, this is so pretty. It was only $20. So I got a little flat iron. Um, I wanted to try to do some little bumps yesterday, but it didn't come in time. It's fine. We'll have it and we'll have some more hair soon. <laughs> I guess. So now I got a little flat iron. Who I think I am. Y'all know I don't know how to do my hair. Wait till it's time to flat iron my hair. Just wait. It's going to be a mess. Don't y'all know it? Because every time I try to do something in my hair, what it be? A mess. And then this, I think I'm going to send back. Because they're not going to work. They're headbands. And I know y'all, you're going to be like, well, you ordered, you got some before. Those were thin. And then these are thicker. Yeah. Those were way too thin. But I don't think... Girl, I don't think I'm gonna wear these. I'm just gonna wear my hat or wear my hair like this. Look, I, look at my little swoopy swoops. And um, if I sweat my hair out at the gym, then oh well, oh well. Because the little headband that I had, I didn't like the way it looked. Y'all, I'm sorry, but I do not. I know I'm at the gym, but damn, like I don't wanna just be looking crazy and I feel like it looked crazy. These, see, these are way wider. The other one was so doggone thin. 
that I kept like trying to adjust it and it was just like, girl, see this is way wider. Let me see what it looked like because y'all know I'm blind as hell. Oh, see this actually don't look that bad because it covered more of your head. Yeah. Okay, I might keep these and it was like a pack of 12. Girl, you is not. <laughs> I can't tell my glasses because that looks crazy. What I wear to see now, what I wear this to the gym, for real. Cause I feel like I got, cause my hair is black and this is black. I feel like I got a swim cap on. Girl, I don't know. I don't know. I am a little vain, y'all, just a little bit. Girl, no, cause I look like I'm going swimming. I'm not about to play with y'all. Y'all don't care. Y'all won't. Y'all don't give a damn if I look crazy in the gym. I look like I'm going swimming. Stop. So if I had like a little ponytail or something, yeah, but like just this, you know I look like I'm going swimming. I mean, I, I just had to make sure. <laughs> I was just making sure. Y'all, look what Chelsea let me use. She gave me her, um, lens from her uh sony e10 because she was like she doesn't use the kit lens when she bought the camera she automatically bought like uh the lens she wanted to use for it she is so sweet i really got lucky with chelsea and dana and i prayed for that and i am so sad that dana's moving but she keeps saying well i'm only two hours away and i'm gonna be up here every weekend until october because she'll still have an apartment but i'm like really sad about it y'all because they are like so sweet and so nice and I just I'm happy about it but then it makes me sad <laughs> again because she's leaving anyway let's test the theory that nothing was wrong with our camera and it was the lens <gasps> oh I missed you so much oh my god Oh, I missed you. Uh, I love. Oh my God, I love my E10. Uh, so we're gonna finish the vlog out with our ZV1. But thank you, ZV1, for being with us for us. We really appreciate you in our time of need. Y'all, I miss my E10. I'm looking at me and the viewfinder here, which is not bad. But I'm sorry, Chelsea. The Canon could never. Sigma lens or not. I missed you. I missed my E10. Thanks, Chelsea, for letting me use your lens. We will take care of it. We can buy you another. We could have bought another one just in case you know I got butterfingers. But I didn't want to buy. I don't want to buy you one either. <laughs> if you watch it, I didn't want to buy another kit lens when I know I wanted the 15 millimeter lens, but it's like several hundred dollars. But yeah, I missed my E10 a lot. Um, so I am thankful we're going to take care of this lens and not drop the camera. Funny enough, ever since this happened, because y'all know I dropped this if you want a couple of times, right? But ever since I lost a camera, like for real, I ain't dropped no more. <laughs> I never dropped um, this since I've been using it. And I mean, that's going to be front of my mind because I was just like, think about what was I going to do if I didn't. I was going to have to buy another kit lens. I was about to say, what was I going to do if I didn't have my ZV-1? Buy a kit lens. Now, I switched back to my broken lens. It's trying to... See how it's popping out and, like, going back in? It's the lens. I broke the lens. So, yeah, and then it said again. I don't know why that I was going to fix it. Cannot recognize lens. Attach it properly. So, thank you again, Chelsea, for going to utilize your lens. Um, next week, I guess, because I'm going ahead. Uh, and I don't want to switch cameras. The only reason I don't want to switch cameras, I, I'm sure it wouldn't do it because it's a Sony. But I have noticed before when I'm, like, using my Canon. And then I don't want to turn away from the lights on my back back. Girl, bye. I have noticed before um, when I use my Canon and then I try to put that same memory card that I used on my Canon into my Sony it don't it'll delete the footage and i'm pretty sure again that wouldn't happen because it's sony transferring to sony but i don't want to take the chance i don't want to take the risk it's not that serious we've been using the zv1 we're gonna rock the zv1 out for another day okay it ain't gonna be too much going on anyway because when i tell y'all i'm about to honor me being tired i'm gonna honor you i'm gonna go do what i need to do business wise because i gotta go get this money 
but and then I'm gonna go um to, since I'm already at Publix because that's where Western Union is. I will stop by the ball head ass Target, but I'm telling you now. It's gonna be ran through, and I'm like, well, instead, do you wanna just go ahead and go to like the Lindbergh Target? Girl, I don't know. I kinda wanna go to Starbucks, but I mean, I haven't eaten but one time a day. I don't need to eat. I do need to eat, but I don't, I'm not hungry. I wanted to get like a chai. I don't know if that's the best thing for me. I was about to say it might be because it's coffee, but it's actually tea. I don't know. Me going to Starbucks would make me go to Target because I would, oh, I keep forgetting there's Starbucks in Target. Like you don't have to, but my butt be wanting to go through the drive through And I have done that before. This is so lazy. I have known I was going to Target and went to the Starbucks drive through somewhere and then with the Target just because I want to go through the Starbucks drive through and not a, <laughs> insanity. Y'all, I left my house at 6.30 and it is nine o'clock. It has been an eventful to say the least. Okay, I, I gotta tell y'all, I, I, I mm, what do I start with? Okay, I left the house to go to the store. Um, my mom called. Y'all know about my stepdad. It's not. It's she's really looking bad. It's a really sad subject to the point where I think I might just have to go up to Tennessee tomorrow. Like all willy nilly, I don't really want to, but I don't. I feel some type of way about my mama because she's not, of course she would, you know, she's not going to take it the best, like her husband died, but it's just, I've never, like, had a parent have a spouse die. To be honest with y'all, I've never had nobody close to me die. My grandmother was the first one. I mean, my brother, I don't know if y'all know, I had a brother. My mom had another son. He died, but that's when I was two. So I don't, you know, know too much. But like as an adult of some type of age, when my grandmother died, that was like the first person that like close to me, kind of like intermediate family died. And I know this isn't, I ain't gonna say like me and my stepdad are close or nothing, but my mom, me and my mom are close and it's affecting her. You see what I'm saying? So like, it's really, I don't know. I, I wanna be, I wanna see him, but I don't want him to pass and I have not seen him. Cause, but I was supposed to go up there next week because one of my cousins is having a birthday party um but i don't basically y'all it's so bad to the point where like there might not be no chance next week we don't know only god know it might be three months but it could be two days we don't know so i don't know y'all i really don't want to make the wrong call but i also have a lot going on here and i do know that the stuff that i have going on is not life or death so that's what's like um uh, but I know I don't want to go up there tomorrow and then have to go up there again next week. I don't know because everything I'm saying just sound real trivial when you say it out loud. But I'm just going to see what's going on tomorrow. But that was weighing on me. And that was a sad thing talking to my mom. And then, y'all, this the real tea. So, yes, I have um, an older brother because y'all have been asking about that. My niece. So, my niece is about to graduate from college um, next month. So my other brother called me. It was basically like, he lives in Chicago. This is my dad's son. I'm my mom's only child. This, him and Donald share a mom. So he was like, can I stay with you? Like when I come down for Naomi, that's my niece graduation. And I'm like, yeah, cool, whatever. We, we I ain't gonna say we, get, we don't get along that well. We don't, we not close like my brother, obviously, cause y'all was kind of like, so one of y'all did mention that y'all seen him before, like we went to the trap museum and stuff. So like, he's been around, but you have had to be an OG and like really been into the vlogs. Cause let's just say I do, I have over 800 vlogs. He has probably been in five of 800, like, yeah. So, um, it's not that we don't get along, but we're just not close like that or whatever. But I'm like, yeah, cool. That's fine. If my mama not here, because my mama already said if and when her husband does pass, she wants to come here. So of course I wouldn't have no space for him, but if not, sure, cool. Then he started asking me, was I going to my niece graduation? My niece ain't talked about this graduation. So we knew she was graduating, but at the same time, we was like, is she? Because she ain't said nothing. You know, usually when you graduate and you hype about it, you tell people about it, you invite people, she ain't said nothing. So it's kind of just been up in the air. But I'm like, okay, yes, I'll go, why not? And then we started talking about who all going and how we gonna get there. 
Okay, y'all. If you know, you know. Me and my dad's family, we got some. Now, not everybody, but it's a little parts of the family that we don't. I don't mess with them because of things that have happened. I don't really want to get into that whole thing. I'm going to put it like, if you know, you know. And if you do know, if you feel the need to answer comments that's going to address it or ask or whatever, I don't care. But I just don't be feeling like talking about shit because it is old. And I don't like talking about it, but I understand that everybody that's here don't know the whole story or whatever. But I don't, we have our things. I don't really mess with them. Some things have happened. There's a cousin in particular, and it ain't the girl, it's the boy. I don't, I have not seen him. I don't care to see him. And then my brother was basically talking about he's going to be at the graduation. I don't want to go. I don't, don't want to go. And my brother was like, bro, like, come on, like your niece is graduating. I get it. But if you know, you know, when my grandmother passed and had her memorial, my grandmother passed in 2020 and her memorial, I think was in 2021 or 2022, but it was a ways away. I didn't go for the same reason. I don't want to show my tail with this family. I don't. And now y'all can say what y'all want and not y'all, but they be trying to say, you need to let it go. I'm not letting shit go because it was wrong. No. I feel like if I slap, we're going to say I got a subscriber named Sally. If I slap Sally and then five years went by, we posted just that like it was okay. No apology or nothing. We posted just that like it was okay because it was five years that passed. Fuck no, you still slapped me and we not just going to brush over it because this was years ago. You still slapped me and we ain't address this. So that's how I feel that some things were done that was wrong. And you know what's crazy was I don't even want no damn apology. I don't, I don't mess with you. I just don't. I don't trust you. I don't want you in my life. I don't mess with you. I don't really want to be around you. That's just what that is. I don't hate nobody. I don't wish ill on nobody. I just don't want you in my space, in my life. And I can do that. I'm entitled to that based on shit that was done to me unfairly. And what's crazy is, if you, first of all, let me just say this because I don't like to talk about it, but I am black, okay? Most of my subscribers I feel like is black. And I ain't gonna speak on what other cultures do or what they don't do, but I'm gonna tell you what the black people don't do. Black people do not procreate with other people ex-husbands we don't even do ex-boyfriends that's something that black people families don't do we don't do that baby we don't even do that with friends now when i say that i know that there is a few bad apples in the goddamn bunch apparently and we have heard let's say i'm friends with sally i done messed with sally man but for the most part we don't do that and even if we did with the friends we damn sure don't do it with the family so to just make it clean cut and not really get into it that's what happened i don't give a damn about the girl I'm mad about the cousin that didn't have nothing to do with it physically, but was all up in it. And I didn't did shit to you. Why is you in this mess? Why is you going against me? And now I don't trust you. Again, damn, is this the theme of this vlog? We don't trust you. We don't trust you. And we still don't trust you. That was a good little... We don't trust you, niggas. We don't. We don't. And me, personally, if I don't trust you, you don't need to be in my vicinity. Because for what? Why I'm worried about somebody around me that I don't trust. My last relationship, this guy was hanging out with this other guy and we would have conversations. He would tell me that I don't really trust this man like that. But you got this man in your house. My thing is, I don't move like that. If I don't trust you, you are not nowhere near me. Like, cordially you could be. Because, see, I ain't got no beef with you. I could see you, but don't talk to me type thing. I'm not finna be hanging around with nobody I don't trust. I don't want to be around you. I don't want to whatever. I haven't seen him in years. I haven't seen neither of them in years. And we can keep it like that. We don't have to see each other. We don't have to speak. I could give a fuck. Honestly, it's been great. I'm going to mourn what we did have, but we don't have it no more. And we'll never have it again. So, uh, moving on. So, I don't know. I just feel some type of way. It was a lot going on. And I feel some type of way about all of that. Very emotional. I already, y'all know I don't feel too well. But I went to the store because I decided I wanted to make lamb burgers. And I know y'all probably screaming at me. Oh, let me tell y'all what I did. Because I don't... I bought spinach and mushrooms to put on the burgers. Am I going to put it on there? I guess. Because I was trying to get a veggie. I know I need veggies. Y'all, as bad as I feel, and I kind of feel a little nauseous. I think that's that kombucha I bought, though. I didn't really like it. I tried to go to Jenny's, y'all, because I was feeling that upset, like the thing about my mom. I was feeling that upset that I tried to go to Jenny's, knowing I don't need no damn Jenny's. And the only thing that saved me was it was literally a line wrapped around the building, and that's why I didn't go. Why am I trying to continue to eat this stuff? I don't know. Like, I bought french fries, lamb meat, and now I really didn't want it. I'll tell you what I do want. I slip want to go grab me some edibles. 
and had no edibles and I don't know how long, but I bet I eat. I think I might. Fuck it, I am. Like, that's how I'm feeling. Oh, I bought a cucumber to put in my water, too. I'm about to go grab me some gummies. Because that's that's what that's the time I'm on right now. For real. Is that bad? I'm all about, remember, we're going to acknowledge how we feel and our emotions. We're going to do all of that. And I'm acknowledging that I need extracurriculars at the present time. I almost forgot that I did go to uh, Target and get my olive oil. And they, did, they didn't have to here for that damn kombucha. I ain't like this. The Synergy Trilogy or whatever, Trilogy. Um, they didn't have too bad of a flavor. They had one last cream soda and I grabbed it. And they had some watermelon. I wish they would have had ginger ale. And then I got um, a tropical punch and another watermelon. So I did get some. I need to drink one. Or do I? Because y'all was telling me I was having too much Friday. I'm telling you, I was drinking my olive pop every night and we was good. And all of a sudden it wasn't good enough. And I don't understand. Hey y'all, good afternoon. It's Sunday. Um, I apparently didn't go to Tennessee. I called my mom and we're gonna, we, I hope I'm not making the wrong decision, but I said I'm gonna go up there Friday because again, I have my cousin who's having her birthday party on Saturday and I said I was gonna be there. I feel like this was the most horrible week to do that because I have a lot of like work to do that's like content related, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I really don't like traveling and leaving my house overnight. I really don't. I don't know why, but I don't. And I mean, I say that I guess to go to Tennessee because if y'all was to tell me right now we was going on a trip, girl, let's go. But it's, you know why we're going. Well, we're going for the birthday party, but also I need to go and I just hope that I don't be like too late because I. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that because I had a day yesterday. Yesterday wasn't like a bad day, but it was a lot going on, as y'all can see. I wasn't the happiest. Like, things was coming up, and it was irritating me and all of that. But anyway, I forgot to show y'all my burger last night. I, I did all that, and then I got to show you the actual burger. I put spinach and the, the mushroom, like, on it, and it was pretty good. I don't know if it was that or my Olipop, but I had a good little movement. If you know, you know, I don't, I mean, you know, yeah, I, that was nice, especially because I was supposed to be taking those cleanse pills and then I forgot to take it last night and I didn't take one this morning, but I'm gonna take one tonight. But I had a regular one. I feel like it's been the most regular one in a while. So that was a good thing. But other than that, I didn't do anything this morning. I made pancakes and then I cleaned up a little bit. Didn't do anything. This vlog did not, it, it did not, nothing I was supposed to do, I did in this vlog. I was supposed to go to Sam's, I was supposed to go to Barnes and Nobles, and like look at study Bibles and devotionals, and I ended up basically being in the damn house. Now I did leave y'all seen to go to the store, and I did get my Olipop, but I didn't even get to use those flat irons that I bought. Actually, girl, let me not try to flat iron this hair, because my hair actually don't look bad. After me waking up, I done laid on it. I had I have wrapped it. And I was like, should I play with the flat iron? But I'm not gonna play with the flat iron. What we can do though is put that little hook up in the shower. I also need to check my phone. Because where are the I was trying to tell y'all yesterday, and then I said y'all probably don't remember. The little metal studs that was supposed to go in the desk to hang up the shelf, because all that stuff that's in that desk is still a mess from when I moved. I just never bought the little shell things which are sad because they were literally like i think five dollars like it wasn't nothing 
I got so much stuff to do this week that I just really want to rest today. It said it was delivered on the 13th. That was yesterday. So now I got to go. All right, I'll be back. Y'all, I'm about to be so sick because these look like they're sick too big. And if they are, then oh well, because this doll on shelf been like this since I moved here. And I haven't even went in it one time, which means in the stuff in here do you even need. Yo, please excuse yourself. This is not food. Go. Y'all, these screws look too big. They big as hell. So, uh, well, I'm not going to be doing this. Um, this is the shelf. And the screws were like, y'all see like these little notches right here? They would like hold like that. But the holes that are built in for the shelf, these are way too big. And I'm not going to worry about it. It's not going to drive me crazy. Like, um, I'm just going to throw this away and oh well. It's not gonna drive me crazy like those dog on lights in the closet, which needs to be recharged. I need to recharge them. But I want y'all to see what it look like in the inside. Y'all see this? Girl, ain't nothing in here but books and like my damn diploma. Um, and yeah, I haven't been in here. I could move all of these books out somewhere if I want to. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm not gonna be bothered with it. Uh, y'all. Not feeling this vlog. This vlog was supposed to actually be productive. I had so much stuff to do. And now, yeah, I didn't do anything. I felt sick yesterday and then today. I just kind of chill. I, I, y'all, it's a mental thing. I really do think, cause like I told y'all before, the way that I did last week, this, like I had to rest this weekend. I still don't feel like I'm resting. I'm about to sit my butt down. Um, let me see how much these was. Cause y'all know me have to decide if it's worth trying to return them. They were $6.99. Told y'all that was like $5. I guess. Yeah, because I'm gonna return those headbands too. That's a smooth little $20. I need it up off you. I need it up off you. All right, y'all. My energy is so low in these vlogs. There's too much going on. I just. I am not feeling it. Anyway, hopefully my shower thing will actually work. Can we have something? Do y'all think that'll work? Why well, I'm acting like I can put y'all somewhere in the shower? Because I can't. That's not enough for y'all. Um, we in the shower. I'm going to put y'all on the shelf and pray. See, this is how cameras be falling. Because I've been here trying to, like, finagle. Can y'all? Um, Okay, I ain't gonna be able to see the viewfinder, but the way y'all set up, okay, whatever. I just wanna see, so this is my handle, if it'll fit. Yes, it fits it. So then I can just put it, I'll probably put it to the side here. Yeah. But I'm not gonna put it in right away. You know how you put it in there and let it sit. But at least the doggone shower handle won't just be hanging. I, I have no idea if I was in frame or not. It doesn't matter. Look, y'all. This is how I look at the soap all bent down and stuff. And that's because of the shower handle. How I just been like hanging out in there. Um, but I just put the, you know. I know y'all like, she just said she wasn't going to put it in there. I'm going to take it out. I just want to see. Oh, it looks so much better. Oh, even though my rag right there is not supposed to be right here. Damn. The rag just be chilling like in the little thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That is so cute. All right. That was definitely worth the little $7 that that was. But I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours before I like put some weight on it. Even though I'm pretty sure that it was fine. Y'all, I caught myself washing my comforter and like some sheets on my bed. And I forgot the last time I washed my comforter, the only thing I did was wash the comforter by itself because I cannot stand when I'm like against the light. Because I washed the comforter with like two sets of sheets and the sheets are like soaking wet. So I started another like dr drain spin cycle on the um, washer. Cause yeah, they didn't like, they're sopping wet. 
I don't know why the comforter has to be like the only thing in the washer and the only thing in the dryer and it still be taking like forever to wash and dry but it needed to be washed um y'all I'm sitting here drinking this uh berry blend cold pressed juice from Kroger it's pretty good and eating the rotisserie chicken salad which I don't recommend you do now it's, it's good it's from Target I showed you, I, I'm sorry, y'all gotta be against the light because I'm trying to eat and grab my cracker. Um, I showed y'all these when I got them from Target, but like I'm just sitting here eating them. Probably shouldn't have, but what the hell? I mean, at this point, at this point, I, I stopped tracking a long time ago when I wasn't going to the bathroom. And I was just like, I'm big anyway. Oh, and now I don't want this. Y'all, I'm having a very low energy off day. And the reason I grabbed the camera specifically is because, like I haven't, I've been cleaning up. That ain't nothing. Me washing clothes, waiting for them to dry so I can make up my bed. And I'm like, damn, I feel like I didn't vlog anything. And this vlog is making me feel bad. And I'm like, but your energy is low. Like you're having an off day. And I'm feeling some type of way about having my off day because the light is killing me, y'all. We sit on my couch so I can turn toward the um, the window. I'm just feeling like, I don't know. It's a really low energy day and I have low energy days. We all have low energy days. I know that, but I don't like when I have them. You probably like, girl, don't nobody like when I have them. And I'm feeling the pressure to do stuff because I'm supposed to be vlogging. But I mean, if I don't, we talked about this before, y'all be like, we don't care what you're doing. Analytics say. Anyway, I came here because I was like, why am I feeling so like down about myself and looking at myself type of way just because I'm having low energy and I kind of just want to rest. When I also know that this week is one of those weeks and I need to rest and then it was like, I'm about to have to travel and because I did all that stuff that I did last week, I should just be happy for that win and just be like, to hell with it. Um, I have some calls, because I'm looking at my board, which needs to be done over. I also decided that Sundays was supposed to be my chill day, but when I mean chill, I wasn't gonna worry about the week coming up stuff, because also I should be vlogging. And then Monday, as y'all know, I edit the weekend vlog, and I was like, I feel like Monday should be my reset day, and reset in quotations, because who is this? I'm irritated with my little guy friend, I guess. Um, by the way, can I speak on that? I feel like I don't want to complain about stuff because I also be noticing, I know you're about the Israelites. When I slip complain, God be like, oh, but you said you wanted this, but you didn't. Okay, bet. And then something will happen. No, like, specifics about that, but... I've been noticing. So let me not complain about him, but today was the, I'm jumping all over the place. We're gonna be talking about resetting. Let me reset first. I'm sorry, y'all. I am just, this is my real personality that's just all over the place and chaotic. Um, The reset. So on Mondays, because I do my vlogs, I was like, I could plan out my week on Mondays too because ain't no reason but just be, just in case sunday like last sunday i was at my dad's house and since sunday is part of the weekend vlog i don't know what i could be doing i just happen to not be doing nothing this sunday but um i have a call with the trover trip people this week so i guess i'll tell y'all more about that we got the number of surveys we needed so looks like we will be planning a trip i have no idea where yet or nothing i guess um the Top the place that won by number of votes is Costa Rica, so I'm guessing it's gonna be Costa Rica, but I'll let y'all know. But anyway, I have a call there, I have another call with that same brand I had a call with last week. Um, I have to do the content for them, I have to do um, another brand's content. Is that it that I see up there? I don't know y'all but anyway I said I would worry about that on Mondays and I feel like Mondays are more productive because it's also the day that I go to the gym and the gym just makes my life better but today yeah I didn't do anything yesterday I didn't do much and so let me tell y'all what I'm about to tell y'all now so I hung out with the girls on Friday 
And I spent time with Farmer Bay Thursday night. Yep, I made enchiladas. Like yep, Thursday night. And then um, he also, he was going to come see me Friday night. And I was like, well, I'm out. And I don't know when I'm going to get home. So then I seen him yesterday night. And I feel like that threw me off for today. Not yesterday, because yesterday had his own challenges, I told y'all. I didn't feel that great. And, well, first I just was like, I'm going to have a chill day. And then after that, I just didn't feel great. And then all that stuff happened and my mental was shot. By the way, I never told y'all I did go get that edible. And I did take said edible. And I had a great time last night because I was on that edible. And I think tonight going to be an edible night, too. And I didn't overeat yesterday. I was so happy about that because I just knew... I was gonna eat, I had my lamb burger and fries, and there's three more lamb burgers in there. I didn't eat another one. So I'll eat one tonight, and we're gonna just do not, cause baby, usually when I have an edible or something, I don't feel my stomach. But anyway, is the dryer, okay, the dryer is going. Don't worry about that blanket. So, I don't wanna complain about Farmer Bay because I am enjoying his company and stuff. And But I told y'all before, like in a vlog before, I was like, this is the first time that we, like, we've been talking for a while, but, like, actually, like, spending time with each other. It started, like, around, actually, I know exactly, the 23rd of May, and I know that because it doesn't matter. It, I really would sit up here and overshell. Anyway, so it's, it hasn't even been a month that, like, we've consistently, like, been seeing each other, like, once a week. So this was the first time that it was, like, twice in one week. And I don't know how I feel about it. And you would think, like, okay, it's, that is kind of how things go, they progress. And I still don't know how I feel about it. Like, do I, am I, I feel like it's just so much other stuff going on in my head and in my life right now that I'm like, maybe I don't want to like rush into nothing, but I'm also not rushing into nothing. It ha I have rushed into things before, this is nothing like that. So I don't know if I'm just feeling anxiety, like surrounding it or whatever. But I know I need to really stop being hard on myself, and we talked about this before. But the fact that I'm sitting up here upset because I'm feeling low energy and don't, and I feel like I'm not really vlogging. Meanwhile, I can see my memory card and this about what it would be in the day not over. I just need to stop. Like I was telling y'all to push through, and I myself am in the season of pushing through. But baby, you can only do what you can do, and what you can't, don't worry about it. Like. What we gonna do? Like even me talking, I told y'all, I don't. My voice is just like it don't want to talk. Like it's raspy. I don't know. It feel heavy to talk. Shut up, then. Don't talk. But I feel like no, I gotta, I gotta do this and I gotta do that. You cannot outwork whatever is supposed to be for you. We talked about this. Like it is what it is, and it's gonna happen when it is. You deciding to even if I was to say, oh, I'm upload a vlog every day, I don't feel like it's gonna advance anything more than. The timeline has already been set to advance, if that makes sense. And y'all better be glad that my camera is going there and I need to plug it up before we do our little night routine. Because I was going to go clean off on somebody. Got mad because in the last vlog, I was talking about Joshua when I meant I was referencing Joseph and his troubles, but I used the word Joshua. And this person going to talk about some, it's Joseph in all caps, shaking my head. Don't be shaking your damn head at me because I made a mistake. People are so damn petty. That is ridiculous. You could have corrected me and went on about your business. But stuff like that, cause you was trying to be like, you think you better than me? Cause, cause I made a mistake. Cause let's not forget, we was also talking about getting the Israelites out of the damn wilderness and Joshua was there. So maybe that's why I made the mistake. Now one of y'all did correct me and didn't do all that, but that other person, I know I need to stop feeling like I need to address everything, but certain shit, people just ain't got no damn life. And that's why you over here in mind being negative. Because I, I appreciate the ones that's engrossed in it with positivity, but the some of y'all just got to say something about something, and it got to be something, and it got to be negative, because you're miserable as fuck. And I'm going to go, because the Lord didn't want me to act like this today.
me put y'all on to something. Oh, I'm, I wanted y'all to see my food now. I'm all out of frame. Listen, the Hawaiian, the King's Hawaiian rolls, right? The pretzel hamburger buns. <laughs> For the longest, I just didn't think they were going to be good. And something told me, like, just to get them and try them. But sing. They are so good. So since I didn't show y'all the burgers yesterday, here is my lamb burger. I have the um, sauteed mushroom and spinach on it. And then I have some hot sauce and some um, garlic aioli. Now listen, I never thought that I was going to be a mushroom girl because I didn't use these mushrooms. But that mushroom and spinach mixture is so good. I want to make it with like some eggs. I still have some more left, so um, yeah, it's really good. I seasoned it with the Kinder's caramelized onion butter seasoning, and I'm pissed because I ran out. I don't got I'm all out of frame. Um, it's so many things that I don't have. I ran out of seasoning. I don't have no barbecue sauce. I don't have no ketchup. It was the most stuff too. I, I don't have no eggs no more. I got two eggs left. I don't have no egg whites. I'm like, okay, we do need to go to the stove. So I'm just having one of my Holly Pops. And hopefully the same thing that happened today <laughs> will happen again in the morning with the Olipop and a little spinach and mushroom mixture. Um, but yeah, this is my dinner. Hello, 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 hello. Where's up, where's up, where's up, where's up? I know that's our intro, but we are ending this vlog on a very high note. Oh, first, it's obvious that I went grocery shopping. Well, I went to Sam's. And it's just a great day to be a Sands Club member. And I'll tell y'all in a minute. So I want to tell y'all first, I, I had a very good time this morning moving, it, you know. Um, so good to the point where, like, I went twice and then I got ready to go to the gym. And I had to jump out of my truck to come back in the house because I had to go again. <laughs> and I, I was a little complaining about it because I'm like, okay, I'm scared to leave because... But baby, yeah, I needed all of that because I'm looking at that scale like, what you doing? Because ain't no damn way I'm waiting on that scale to do what he need to do because I ain't even been. I'm just saying, if the scale was going to be tripping, I could have been eating. Why am I suffering? So also, also with that being said, let me tell y'all how I did what I was supposed to do. First of all, I did what I was supposed to do um, in a lot of ways. Let me first address how y'all know yesterday I was like, oh, you wasn't productive. You didn't do what you supposed to do. You supposed to go to Sam's. And I was talking about I need to stop being so hard on myself because, yeah, you went to Sam's today and it was fine. It wasn't a big deal. The vlog still got to see it. Why was you tripping? One. Two. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed again. Oh, I don't. I just don't know. I feel like this. Should I even go to the gym? When we already said, when we wake up, it's not a question if we should go to the gym or not. Unless we are sick, we don't feel well, or we're extremely sore. Other than that, there is no question. There is, there is, it isn't an option. We're going. I went to the gym, y'all. I recorded, like, you know how I do my little, for real, show y'all my outfit before I go do my workout and record my workout. Baby, the tripod wasn't in the bag. So I didn't get to record my workout, but I think that worked out. I didn't record my workout. It worked out because... I have not uploaded on the Think Like Mia channel. Why? And I was like, okay, fine. This is the week. I'm not going to take my stress myself out and try to get three vlogs this week. I'm going to do my Monday upload. I'm going to do my Friday upload. And then I'm going to do a video on Wednesday. It doesn't. When you go do a gym video, it doesn't take long because you're literally just recording a workout. You can upload the same day. It's not a big deal. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to upload on Think Like Mia this week. Damn, today is leg day, though, and I really don't want to start off with anything but a leg day because I mean <laughs> but um I was like today's leg day y'all because I left I also wanted to do a leg day real because I had just done like a bench press one because I left my tripod I didn't have to do leg day today I said well I don't have no tripod to record it so I might as well go ahead and do some upper body I did I didn't do a bench press but I did do like a chest press on the machine a dumbbell press and I did some back and I did that so that tomorrow, actually, which is Tuesday, I can record my leg workout and upload it on Wednesday at the new channel. And I ain't even got to do a same day thing. Because also, I'm going to be starting vlogging tomorrow for the Friday vlog. But, you know, it's just it just kind of worked out kind of swell like it always do. And y'all, I have been praying for clarity so much because I'm like, God, 
if you're telling me not to change my expectations and to have faith, can you just make it clear that I'm not, this is my biggest fear. I don't know if this is clear or not. I really just want to be obedient and I don't, I'm, not, I'm unclear on what, the, what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, what, what are you telling me to do in this moment? That's the thing. I don't want to do anything but what you're asking me to do. So can we just make it crystal clear? I swear to God, I wish he could just be like, hey, go do that. And it'd be the end of it. So I just been praying for clarity to just do. Am I doing? Is this? Can you make it clear that I'm moving in the right direction, please, please? Cause I don't, I don't want to be in your wheel desperately. Cause my way is not fun. <laughs> anyway, y'all. So let me show y'all. I went to Publix first. It's right by my gym. Oh, I didn't tell y'all the rest of the story, girl. I'm talkative. See, I was worried about vlogging on them days when I was low energy and I had nothing to say, and it was okay. Cause now I got stuff to say. Let it flow naturally. All right. Anyway. Dana ass girl <laughs> was telling me how at her job because y'all know I don't have a Costco membership I don't even have a sales membership but I be using my mother brains but Costco don't play that because they got the little picture on the car and they be checking they don't play it anyway she was like oh well I can make Costco orders at my job and they deliver it blah 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 girl you know they got the Starbucks egg bites they got what they got who girl you know they got the Starbucks egg bites pull up the nutrition facts the damn Starbucks egg bites is like 200 some calories I ain't saying there's no protein, but it ain't enough for the calories. And I was like, yeah, girl, get me some. I'm going to give you the money. I thought and I thought and I thought. And today she was like, I'm about to go ahead and place the order. I said, nope, devil, Satan. <laughs> you stay away from me. Don't be placing me no Starbucks order for no egg bites because I'm not getting the egg bites. You know why? Because didn't I just tell y'all the other day I needed to go get eggs and egg whites from Sam's? So I say all that to say, again, I was like, no, it sound good, but I know them 200 calories and that little bitty grams of protein they're gonna give from the egg bites. I've been eating 50 grams, upwards of 50 grams a day. With, yeah, with just my breakfast because I'm doing my egg whites and the egg. And it, it wasn't 200 calories either. So, and even if it was for 50 grams, I mean, so I, I'm just saying I'm trying to stick to the plan. I really am. I'm sticking to the plan. We're having some hiccups with the bathroom because I'm getting discouraged because the scale going up and I ain't eating. And I'm like, and when I say I'm not eating, I'm eating. But not like the scale. Y'all, the scale don't went up damn near 10 pounds. Now, come on, bro. Especially y'all been seeing me vlogging. I promise I ain't been eating off camera like that. Still ain't had no crumble cookie. <laughs> anyway, so I went to Publix and I... Also, listen, this worked out in my favor. I went to Publix because it was next door to the gym. And I was like, you know what? You should just get some eggs here. It's not a big deal. I'm so happy I went to Sam's. Y'all will see why in a minute. Anyway, I got the high fiber um, oatmeal from Publix. Because um, I said I'm supposed to be eating before the gym. It's still hard for me to do that because I'm not hungry. But yeah, also fiber, okay? Um, I got some ketchup because I told y'all we, we ain't had no kind of in this, in this house. Ketchup, my Kinder's burger sauce. I love this. This is my favorite one so far. And I wanted some barbecue sauce. So I got the Kinder's um, barbecue sauce, Honey Hot. Y'all, this is a Kinder's house. I love Kinder's so much. I need to reach out to them like, Kinder's, what's up? Matter of fact, I'm about to take a picture of my Kinder's stuff and tag them on Instagram. Like, what's up, baby? What's up? Baby, what's up? Because I love y'all. Like, love me back. I got some turkey pepperoni to eat with my little honey cheese and crackers. Um, yeah, I wanted to get like some prosciutto or y'all know the other little like charcuterie meats. And then I seen that this was um, 28 grams, which is an ounce for 70 calories. And the rest of that stuff was like upwards to 200. I'm really trying to be a good person here. Okay. I really want to look like when I flex how I feel because you can't see anything, but I can feel the muscle. I got it. Y'all have so much muscle in my back and I can feel it. Like, because I really am like, I can flex. And I never understood the flexing, but I get it now. And I can feel the muscle like engaging, but you can't see shit. And you know why. Anyway, <laughs> I got me some potatoes um, for whatever reason, breakfast, dinner to go with. We got a just meat shipment coming. And I'm excited, y'all. They got a, a barbecue like raspberry chicken. Y'all know I love my just meats. Don't play. I can't wait. I'm gonna do an unboxing for like Instagram and stuff. So if y'all not following me on Instagram, I don't even know what you're doing. Are you a Mia Snow fan? Are you a Nikki fan? Are you a Mia Snow fan? Cause what you doing? All right, Sam's Club. What you got for me, baby? We got 18 damn eggs for like it was like 450. That's wild. 
I promise y'all, I was sleeping on my Sam's membership that I have, courtesy of my mama, for so long. But I'm getting all my breakfast from them because I go through eggs if nothing else. Y'all, I got this carton of egg whites. It's six 16 ounce cartons in here. And I wanted to see what that looked like because I was saying the ounces, like I just understand math and y'all know I don't. So let me see. But y'all, this was $12, but six cartons? And y'all, egg whites are like, I don't know why I, well, I do know I grew up in a black house. <laughs> like, where was egg whites all my life? Because they are an insane amount of protein for little calories. So I have six of these. Oh, like the little Bob Evans cartons I be buying. Six of these. This one carton will last me like two weeks. That's wild. And one of these cartons at Publix, I think is like five. I'm going to give you $4. So four times six. Shit, why did I set myself up for that knowing I don't know math? Oh, this is bad. Four times five is 40. Is it? Y'all, this is horrible. I don't know what four times six is, and I'm trying to think. Six times three is 18. So it's four times six, 24. I think it is. Five times, why are you doing four? Four times five is not. I think it's 24. I don't know why I'm trying to think about the other ones because you know how you can move up. Anyway, that's terrible, but I really don't talk about me, but I keep it real. I really think it's 24, but I'm really not sure. Oh, I'm not that dumb. It is 24. All right, so you got what will usually cost you $24 for half off. No brainer. The Jimmy Dean turkey sausage patties, y'all. You know we got these last time. Publix only has them in an eight pack. 24 and um let me see i don't know how much they i actually want to see so i'm gonna look it up because i really want to know i'm pretty sure that these were like eight dollars okay they were 9.98 but let me see what they come up for um because i really be curious is it worth the bulk thing um i'm pretty sure it is because why would but I, I don't know for sure so let's do jimmy dean turkey sausage patties okay so yeah at target they're five dollars for the eight count 24. if we bought two of these which would make it basically ten dollars we only have 16. 24. and these was 20 these um do they have um i'm pretty sure at Publix, look seven dollars for the delivery so yeah I'm yeah okay so I'm gonna get my breakfast food because I think I'm just gonna be eating now I ain't saying forever but I ain't, I don't really need to switch my breakfast up it's always pretty much a sandwich egg and cheese um or I could make a wrap because I could cut the sausage up and put it in a tortilla but egg some type of meat turkey sausage is fine I really don't now sometimes I might be craving bacon but I really like the macros on here because it is for two 130 calories and 13 grams of protein whereas i did look at the pork ones and the pork ones was like 200 something calories for like six grams of pork protein and that was wild to me but you know center cut bacon it isn't high in calories like you can have three pieces for about 150 but i don't think the protein is the 13 grams i'm not sure now let's get to the exciting things so i ran out of my kinder's caramelized onion butter seasoning and i absolutely love it y'all have reached out to me and told me that y'all love it but they had a roasted garlic brown butter and i was like i'm gonna try this also i bought those and i don't know about the seasonings but i bought those damn condiments at Publix, and now i want to see that too because them condiments at Publix was five dollars and this is the black label like this is so much bigger than the white label ones okay so this is um i'm trying to see like you know the the size this is six ounces this is nine like y'all i've really been sleep on it i was going to sam's for like you know the little convenience foods but i've been asleep so now i'm gonna look up and see how much the kinder seasons really be costing because i was like the only reason i really got this is because i forgot to get it at publix but now i'm kind of glad that i did so yeah, this is six dollars at Publix, like the little one. That's wild. Oh yeah, that is wild. And you can get the big one for five. Like that is crazy. Six ounces versus nine. Okay, y'all. Kinder's has a chili crunch oil. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. 
And I know it's busting because I love everything that Kinders do. Ancho chili with crunchy onion and garlic. Y'all. This is so many calories though because that oil. But oh, I had to get it. The next thing I'm about to show y'all, y'all know I was screaming when I saw it because I thought we wasn't going to get it again. I thought we wasn't going to see it again to next year. Do y'all remember when I was running up and down to all the Sam's in Atlanta? Not all the Sam's. But I did go to another Sam out the way. For the Cleo. The Cleo bars in the black cherry and raspberry. I thought I wasn't going to see y'all no more. Now my only beef with these are these are the mini. So they're only 4 grams and 60 calories. Versus the regular ones are a little bit bigger and they're like a hundred and something calories and eight grams or whatever. But this flavor, oh my god, I was so y'all lucky I only got two because I wanted to get like five. I was just so happy to see them. Um, and these were dang, it was 11 80. I could have swore they was eight something last time, but anyway, yeah, okay. So this is my little grocery haul. I'm so excited about everything. I've been making really good decisions. Can y'all tell I've been making really good decisions? Like, I didn't get my egg bites because I got real eggs. I got all this Kinder seasoning. I got my, I feel like today, which Slick ain't even supposed to be a part of the vlog, just redeemed the whole damn vlog. That's wild. But anyway, I need to edit y'all if y'all want a Monday video. So, I'll holla. Thanks for kicking it with me.